I looked at a crumpled Coke can one day and thought it was the perfect image of the recession, something that was shiny and new, now crumpled and discarded. I also thought of Warhol's Campbell soup cans and wanted to do a series similar to them. They really rip, like I don't, uh, they're made out of something very thin, and so it was fun to really twist and, and break them. You needed a hammer still to kind of crush this ring. This is actually pretty strong, so I, I just bent some of them. I really wanted to mutilate some of the others, like to really see what the limits of recognition would be, so uh, that's kind of what I did. They're all sort of individual portraits of Coke cans, because uh, I tried for different, really different characters. Yeah. That was the fun thing about doing the series, is uh, the, the more you do with them, then the more you can sort of um, explore the, the differences that you can get with uh, the this sort of starting point. That's what I found was interesting is something so generic that you can really individualize and then plus making them, you know, more like the other subjects in my still life, almost all kind of weathered or, you know, objects with a history. You take something that was new and you can sort of change it yourself. Cans are interesting to paint. The folds in the cans are almost like the drapery I used in a lot of my previous work. So unlike Warhol, I was trying to model the forms very three-dimensionally with light and shadow. I mixed cadmium red medium and cadmium red light to get coke red. The difference is it gives the piece impact. Warhol worked with the idea of the mass produced, all objects identical. I'm trying to show the uniqueness of the individual in the face of uniformity questioning literally what is the real thing.